Hello and welcome to Wildermyth. This is a, a weird one. This is a series I wanted to do with Peter for a long time. This is a really cool game with a lot of narrative and dialogue that we'll be sharing, reading. There's unfortunate news uh, about this. The first episode somehow got deleted. I don't know when, I don't know how, but um, there were problems with the first episode anyway uh, because basically I was not capturing the game for the first 10 minutes. So I think what happened is I came across the file with black screen in the first 10 minutes and thought, well, that's, that's garbage and then threw it away. So unfortunately, the first episode is gone. The only thing you really missed was character creation, which was very lengthy and a couple of memes, which I'll have to cover here. We already played Wildermyth together, me and Peter, and uh, randomly generated a character named Cobb Knock Long. Uh, that was a randomly assigned name, and we thought it was hilarious for some reason, so we decided to name my character, who is a mystic, Cobb Knock Long. The other joke is that, for some reason, he keeps saying time for pie. So, um, now that you're fully caught up, we basically launched in the game, accomplished very little, and now we are continuing to explore the world. I really hope you enjoy this series, and sorry that the first episode is gone. You know, F's in chat and pour one out, all that stuff, and enjoy. Hey everyone, Peter's not here yet. He's off getting a beverage, but welcome back to Wildermyth. I have my beverage. Solid. No, it's a liquid. It's a liquid? Yeah. Alright. So, um, what, what are we, 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 we gotta do some more exploring, yeah? Yeah, we do. Or we could loot this, um... Well, not loot. We could restore this town. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, loot, restore, you know. Yeah, well, you do it to get an item and then later to get supplies. <laughs> no, you tell me. Um, tell me yeah, you. we may as well do this methodically. And it also, like, since we're here, it costs no extra time to do it. Like, exactly. if we did it later, we did just have to travel to it. Yeah. Find Let's an item. Make... Yeah. Do it. Zero days away. Also, the beverage that I'm drinking, in honor of Cobb Knock Long, uh, is it's Screwball a... Whiskey. Not quite goofball, but as close as you can get, that is a thing that I have on my shelf right now. I thought you were going to say a, a, a tall, refreshing glass of corn. <laughs> <laughs> Time for pie! He said it again! Yo! Let's go! He said the thing! He said the thing! <sighs> Let's go, Cobb Knock. Let's go, Cobnock. That's Cobnock's catchphrase. He knock. says it about himself. I know it's confusing. Knock, knock. Time for pie. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to get heartwoods and fabrics and pauldron. So, again, the bonus damage is good for literally everyone. I think that your two AoE people so far have the best claim to it. All right. I'm so going to give it to uh, Cobnock, man. Yeah. Give it to Cobnock. All right. No, it, we we got us we got to scout. Yeah. Now the other thing we can do is prepare defenses. Oh um, yeah. How do we how do we do that? I don't even know so about that. Anything that we've already secured, anything where we've already like rebuilt the town, you can click on that and you'll see prepare defense as an option. Oh. So, um, you'll see in the top uh, middle right, just to the right of the pause button. Um, thirty eight days. There's two little yeah, so 38 days is the next time that an infestation is going to grow. And that's, you see how um, some of the territories below us to the southeast and southwest have like tangly thorny things. Yeah. That means that they are infested with um, monsters, which means that when we scout them, there's going to be a monster to fight. Um, and every time the, the day counter ticks up to, the, to its uh, full, um, and the, so the, the days count down and the uh, thing fills up. It means that we uh, a new infestation happens. That's for the thing with the monster face. And then for the icon on the right with the feet, that's an incursion. That's like the monsters actually start running through and trashing towns. Uh -huh. If you have defenses built up, two things happen. One is it slows the monsters down as they stampede towards um, Swan Call. So it, it slows them down. And two is when you finally, when the party engages the monsters, if you engage them in a town with defenses, you get different bonuses in that combat defending that town. Uh -huh. The more defenses you have, the more bonuses you get. So you can like concentrate a lot of defenses in one town and build up a ton of like three tiers of defense, but then if the monsters go a different route, that's not gonna help you. You can spread defenses thin and do like one defense everywhere. You can build up everything to level three, but then it takes up a lot of time, which means that more incursions are gonna happen. So it's really what kind of what kind of style we want to do here. Um mm. I think we can leave it for now, and then if if an incursion happens, we'll backtrack and fight it, and then we'll know which path we might want to defend in the future. Okay. Um that's the thing we could do. Let's I seem to recall 
in our game, we didn't do any defensing at all. No, it didn't. Yeah, we were fine without it, so. All right. Yeah, let's just do uh, some scouting for now. All right, let's do Blue Cedars Forest. Come here, child. Whole party. Here we go off on an adventure to scout the forest, the bestest of friends. Time for pie. Time for pie. Blue Cedars Forest has been revealed. Oh, uh, we can't do this yet. We have not unlocked it. Let's go to Grambling Plain. Scout, here we go. <laughs> oh, wh wait, it's locked? Yeah, so that's that's the, the big finish to this um, act of the campaign happens there. Um, and we can't do it until we've unlocked the rest of the story bits. I think we should cancel oh. one of these uh, raccoons. Um, splash damage. I don't want that. I don't like splash damage, so let's yeah. get rid of that. Because, okay. like, the raccoon's already got one, and yeah. giving it two more is just going to make raccoons a huge pain in the butt. Yeah, and, um, yeah, I think the rest are fine. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the extra health, um, but I also wouldn't mind it being it. And, yeah, in, in general, my philosophy with Calamities is whatever the big feature campaign monster is, in this case, it's, um, uh, the, the, like, row and the, I think the, are they called the Ulstrix? Is that what they're called? No, Ulstrix is the big bad monster. Whatever it is, those guys, uh, I like to, to sort of slow down the calamities there, but I don't usually worry about calamities for the other monsters that are not features in the campaign. Okay. Grambling Plain is a sparsely peopled plain land, but a famous roadhouse does call lonesomes across the prairies to gather over mugs and potato plates in a greasy common room. I think we'll find Samwise Gamgee here. Oh, solid. The company makes a stop at the end of the trek. They're out there, Cobnock and Gura. I guess they're not in the mingling mood. Good opportunity for talking. Join me. I've already emptied one bottle. Oh, you have. You know, Santa, the Flatlands have a kind of spell. Because I don't smile and sweet talk, people think I'm someone who only fights, only wants to fight. But places like these give me other ideas of better, more just, more quiet. Guffa <laughs> ha 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 ha! I can't tell if they're laughing or coughing. I think they're laughing. No. I think they're guffawing. Gumble mumble. Warstar. Hey, Warstar. This old bulu kind of looks like... Arm, 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 arm. Lizard feet. <laughs> Warstar. Okay, now my hackles are up. What's the... Warstar? Mm -hmm. What is happening right now? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, I think this might look like old Warstar, and that's why he's distracted. Well, look who's here, shiny as a pickled corn. It's my own dear Warstar, all grown up. All neatly clad and travel hardy. You look like a real wild walker, don't you? All right, so it seems like you know this fell. Does he know me? Um, yeah, Santa, this is my dad. Oh. I look too young, don't I, to be his father? You definitely don't. <laughs> this is the dad who, let's get drinks over here. Yeah, but I'll be fine. Warstar's parents never weren't at war. What? Childhood had been peaceless and largely cold. What's up? Pa Warstar's parents never weren't at war. Yeah. What? What is that double negative? They were always at war. They were always at war? <laughs> yeah. That's another way to say that. All right. That's what that is. Won't I get a hug, though? It's been ages. Why would we hug? Warstar. Okay, okay. I get it. But, but see, your mom and I... <laughs> should I prepare myself to be thoroughly unshocked? Said the edgelord. You haven't heard me yet. We split. We're done. I'm out here on my own again. I don't know why his dad has a country bumpkin accent, but he doesn't. I guess he probably had one, but he's fought hard to get rid of it as part of his edgelord shtick. He was never not at war. That's true. He's never not at war. That's his catchphrase. That's his, ne that's his catchphrase. Actually, never not at war is a good edgelord catchphrase. It's good name for a little bit of irony well. with the double negative, but then also it is still like a bit of a bitter sounding thing. So I like it. Let's go with it. Here's hoping you finally figured out how to leave each other alone then, but I know you haven't. I'd rather sleep in the fields. I, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with that. For me, we can go. Wait, boy, I'll go. 
A tide of memories is always there, biting and raging on a certain shore of Warstar's mind. Memories that can oh. rise to erode his safe places, topple any good thing he's made. Fling! He was never not at Warstar. Uh... <laughs> Galaxy brain moment. It all comes together. I like how we're like making light of domestic violence and childhood trauma. That's oh, a good I, look. For I mean, of us. I wasn't. I was. I was creating a diversion away from it. Okay. Whirling skirts of his mother, spit flicking lips of his father. Memories of them leaving, convincing their son, if not each other, that this would be the final time. Worse though, the times they'd come home and make happiness seem possible. Drinks slide quiet over tables, spoons softly settle in bowls. The voices of other patrons have gone sharply silent. I'll go, I said. I don't know I deserve to show up in front of you. Only, listen to my mouth move. Two minutes, and I'll let you be. You and your friend here. Your lover, is it? Erm. Eyes are bright above the rims of raised cups. Sigh. One time, one day, I'll get some dialogue that is not time for pie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think you need it. I think you've transcended the need for words that aren't time for pie. I've ascended to pie. All right, I'm gonna, I did a lot here. I also haven't played this scene before and I'm really interested to see what you would choose. You wanna listen or don't listen? Let me leave first, you owe me that already gave you all the chances I could. There's all these people around. I'm sure there's a private room. Yeah, let's listen. Let's find out some canon for Warstar. There was a call for drink. Oh no, you can do it with other people in the scene. You do it. Uh, there is a time for drinks. Well, actually, um, sorry, I have to sync to read with you. No, that's right. Uh, the innkeep shows them upstairs. What do you think? I Should get, I just to, I get to be the innkeep. Yo, I'm going to be the innkeeper. How about that? Cool. You be the narrator, too. No, I'll be the innkeeper. Inside, Warstar's <laughs> father launches into a well-practiced tale of what drove him to the road again. So I finally had to tell her, you know, I can, can't keep saving you, no matter how much I want to, how much I kept trying to. Sounds like mom didn't want your saving. Hmm? Right. But I mean, but that woman never knows what she wants. Anyway. <laughs> she wanted pie. What? Yeah. God damn it. Every, it's what everyone really wants deep down. He speaks of harsh weather he struggled through, of highwaymen and worse, and eventually, as Warstar privately predicted, he unveils his request. My dream was always to build a cozy tap room off the road. Like this one, but humbler maybe. Or maybe an investment is what he's asking for. Because yeah, it's like I always say, in the end, you can't trust no one. No one but your own little reckoning voice there inside your gut. You know that comes from me. Helped you where I, it helped you get where you got, right? All I need to know now is, you know, a little help. Sorry for this. And you think you can keep a tavern going? I was who ran the store best, the boy can tell you. And how many times did we have to close that store and start over? I honestly don't remember. Hit well <laughs> We're just gonna keep talking, right? Let us talk about it. In private. Your son and me. You're my do what? Oh. Would you mind? We're not lovers, by the way. Um sorry if you thought we were. What a relief. Yo, what are you saying, old man? Yeah. Fucking don't like that tone. <laughs> That'd be better for me. That's mm, that sure. is not the, the vibe. The only thing is, don't be unfair now. I argh, thump. You maybe get it now, right? That's my dad. That was the best side of him. Warstar's father paces the landing, hoping to hurry them with the scuff of his shoes, the creak of the boards. This Santa character, clearly she's a master manipulator, huh? Also, well, no, at least they're not lovers. Their discussion is exacting and unrushed and full. Because it can be a way to find some peace. One of the long talks they sometimes have, punctuated with silences, with shrugged wishes that never find the breath to be uttered. Can I tell you, I still wish I could believe him, that he'd had this idea of owning a tap room before today. But no, he's not even sure where he'd build it or who he'd work it with. I know, I'm sorry. But sounds like you've made up your mind? I... Maybe I have. Uh, negative one ingot heartwood fat. No, get out of here, old man. I know he's your character, but screw that guy. Yeah, no, I wanted to, I wanted to see what you choose here. But but what if I? No, I learned you to trust, Dad. Let's not meet again. 
Wow. I mean, you, you can always stay in contact with them. You'll... No. No, you'll regret this. I'm saying this for your own good, you'll regret it. You'll regret abandoning me here, today, betraying your family. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Sorry. Don't you just... <laughs> children. Children. Well, you were right, Mom. Happy? They don't... They never don't disappoint you. <laughs> this is the family of they, double negatives. They're not, not un unpeace. In the end. That man up there, let him have the room a week. I'll pay, but kick him out if he's in any trouble. What are you going out there? Mm. Oh, sounds Later. like Warwick got his pie. <laughs> or star. Anytime anyone mm, can't, it is absolute definitive canon that it's because they snuck a piece of pie in between panels. <laughs> yeah. The crickets can't be quiet. Hey, um, I keep having things I feel like I should say. You know that I, I know, I know I'm lucky, and I'm, I'm sorry I don't say this a lot, but I'm lucky because, anyway, because I've got, I've got a friend here who's closer than my family. <laughs> Can I get you to write that in my journal and sign it? I, I want to show it to everyone. Smile. And they both get bonus health from this time that they've spent together. I love... So here's what I love about this game. Like, that's such an unconventional storyline. Um, I I think it ties into Warstar the way we were imagining him. I think it can be randomly applied to any character. Or maybe it goes to the character who has, like, the most fitting um, series of, like, characteristics or mannerisms for it. But regardless, like, that was really interesting. I've never seen an RPG do, like, a complex relationship with a toxic parent. And have a friend there to help be an advocate. Like... It doesn't make, it doesn't like oversimplify it, but it does give you like a good model for how to navigate a situation like that. You can still choose like, hey, I will allow some space for this toxic parent. Or you can be like, no, hard boundary. And it shows that there's a benefit to that and that a friend will support you in that. Like, I just think that's really good writing and really interesting, well done storytelling. And I wasn't expecting something like that in like a fantasy RPG. So I did have a little bit of a concern, like um, when it ended, it was like, I, I really hope that if we had if we had taken, like, oh, yeah, go ahead and, and take all these supplies and build your tavern. Like, I'm sure there's a, a potential positive there. Like, eventually they you find out that they actually do build their tavern and they're they're grateful. Um, but I do I do wonder, like, is that going to is this going to come back in some kind of ironic way is my only fear. I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. I've never played this storyline. Um, I have found that the storylines have been satisfying and that it's not always something where, like, all paths work out with a different positive i think sometimes there are paths that work out negative um i'm i'm pretty sure and it really does come down to like what is the story that you want to tell right um that's what i like about this game it really is like it, it gives the players interesting choices to make that all have some kind of impact on um the numbers of the game that makes the tactics and the storylines and the, the the like the the the, the crunchy mechanics work they all have an impact on that but then in their own right as a story it's like interesting and satisfying i want to um, tell a story with pie let's make a story with pie uh i feel like i end up needing more hide than i do fabric in a lot of games but i can't really remember so any of these is fine uh hide and fabric two fabric uh i just do take the coward's route do hide and fabric Let's go. We just uh, we needed a bit of extra time for Warstar to fully heal. That's that's true. These are psycho psychological boots. All right. Let's... Outfitter established. All right. Let's go. We're scouting. We're doing some scouting. We're killing some monsters. We're saving the land from itself. <laughs> All L right. Lorona stand. Oh, let's. Make a stand by killing these monsters. Woo -hoo, here we go. I'm gonna use my stand to kill these monsters. That's right, a silent that's panel. a reference. That's a good reference. <laughs> silent panel. Know. What what's the what's the reference? I don't understand the reference. Oh, it, it, wouldn't you like to know? Not really, actually. I don't think I can. When the moon's when gone. When the moon's gone, all the stars seem heavier. <laughs> well, one day Kavnak will say so much stuff. Oh, He's actually look. saying. Time for pie. Reminds me of a tavern hall before your face darkens the window. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is also me. Um, a single okay. candle can okay. seem blinding in total darkness, but next to a forge, just a dim little spark. Anyway, it's a good omen. 
the brightening stars. That doesn't sound very edgelord. No. But he also just had a really emotional, cathartic moment where he set a boundary with a toxic parent who might have contributed to his edgelordiness. So let's let's give him this growth. Yeah, that's true. He, he's he's getting he's developing. Uh what's what's it an omen of? I can't really tell you what they mean specifically. I also think maybe I mean maybe listening is the point. Quieting yourself enough to hear the voice of existence. Relying on the universe is trusting a bear with your baby. What? What is that? Silent no, I mean like, what? What was that metaphor? I mean, I, I think that bears notoriously overcharge for babysitting. So when you say trusting a bear with your baby, what you're saying is that you're expecting to pay a lot of money because you know that babysitter is going to be really, really overcharged up the wazoo. I'm pretty sure that's the clear meaning of that, that expression. If you don't mind, I'm going to give this to, to Gura. Let yeah, her... I, just want to, I just want to read the options. I haven't read them yet. They're all so, the same, Ka basically. Kavnak reminds me of, can I remember the story? Is this your sign? My guardians, my gods. Maybe I do wonder, does he see me? I don't. Yeah, no, I like that. Gura's is the most interesting, I think, of those. Roll the dice. Am I depriving myself of something important? I want Gura to have some character growth. Uh, am I the fool inheritor who leaves the family ruby buried? Refusing to dig out the old guardian, our garden. Hmm. There's the pie. Oh, she got some pie. pie. She got some pie while gazing at the stars. I just don't think I'll ever see it. Maybe that's the difference. Oh well. What's that line between the book, the book witch, and treasure these treasure questions? Treasure these questions. Clove the witch, grinning wide. They'll distract you from aging. They'll lengthen your stride. <laughs> Awkward silence. It's just like the quiet munching of pie. Yeah, that's the one. Have you ever played Mage Knight? No. Uh, this game reminds me of it a little bit. In it's a it's a tactical game, but it's got like kind of procedural uh, generated tiles. It's an actual, it's it's also a board game, and it's got like a ridiculous amount of depth. All right, cool. I would like to play that sometime. <laughs> Sequel series. Yo, Sequel send series. off in the comments which game you want to see us play together next. Um, in the comments, comment it for the algorithm and smash that pie button. Yo, smash that pie button. What's your favorite kind of pie, apple or blueberry? There's only two. Send off in the comments. Let me know. I really care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fire spirit. Okay, so here's I'm going to tell you two things here. We have about... to chase the fire spirit. Yeah, um, so here's the thing. Whoever gets a fire spirit that... No, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it. Who cares about the strategy here? Let's just all chase the fire spirit. No one deal with the threat of the monsters. I'm going to run with Kobnok because he was as close to the fire spirit as possible, and I got it. <gasps> Yo! Yeah. Replace with tier one fire one? Heck yeah, bud. Yeah. So the, the spirits um, imbue non... Um, non-magic items with magic basically yo and the way that most magic items in this game work is that when you do a stunt which is the more interesting version of a like they don't have criticals in this game they have stunts stunts um are like hey you did a cool thing um and when you have an enchanted weapon the stunt has like a bonus effect so i think with fire it hits all the enemies in the area with fire um and you do some aoe which is cool I'm really excited to, to see that do something. I wonder if the through shot will work here. Yeah, give it a try. Yeah, look at that. Heck yeah. Ooh, aw, the second one dodged, but at least it, it did work. Um, I'm going to move Santa forward. Yeah, you know what? She's still not fully ready to jump into line of fire without being ready for an attack, so she's going to do Guardian. But Warstar has got her back, and he's going to do... A shooty thing. I'm genuinely concerned that Kobnok is going to die on this turn. You should be. Oh. Hey, blocked. Yo. Yo. Dodge. Can't touch this Kobnok. Can't talk, touch this pie. This is my pie. All right, let's Santa define the battle line. Um, she is going to go get the raccoon, because I think we can kill the row this turn. So I'm going to move the battle line up with her. I'm gonna uh, infuse something and then run away. I think run away for. Oh yeah. I no, see. because uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like uh, there's no range to it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. Um, 
Warstar is gonna. Is that where you're ending your turn? Yes. Okay, if that's so okay. Warstar. Yeah, no, that's cool. Warstar will back you up. Um, Fudge knockers. Oh, actually, no. Probably Gura's gonna get hit. So I'll go back Gura up and hit the. Rogue. She's not gonna get hit because she's gonna do. Oh. Okay, then you kill the raccoon. <laughs> If you can, or the row, um, but raccoon is probably your best bet. Nice. I got it. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, we do. Yo, Cobb Knock. Can't got this. touch Cobb Knock. Can't touch this Cobb. Oh, I forgot to actually ask you in a serious way if I can, if swearing is a problem on this channel. Um, so I am gonna have to censor you. I have kept it to a pretty like incredible minimum so far, uh, despite cool. my like. Uh, general cussiness. Um, but don't feel you can't because then I, I'll just censor you with the. God, I wish this. This. Oh, can you, can you move Cobnock back so that the row moves into my AOE range or my my attack opportunity range? Yeah, I can so do just, that. Make sure, yeah. Can you just ask that question slower and more sensually? Can you just move your Cobnack? Just move that, move it back a bit. And then just, I can't the actually. So here's the thing: is I actually can't because oh, you already uh, he already took his turn. Yeah. Uh, oh, but that's hey, okay. It, it worked anyway. The row moved anyway. Yeah. We win. Row a rear, a female rear. Cob unlock that light. <laughs> eat some pie. All uh, right. So, uh, one of us gets a slightly upgraded bow. Yo. Um, what, why don't you Why don't you take it? You've got that that shoot through damage, so it, you have a chance of getting that bonus damage twice. Heck yeah, bud. That was just what I was thinking. I got the black arc of silent battle. Uh, warding. That's warding magic is yeah magic defense. So but, any it really works for anyone. Probably. Um, Santa should get it just because she's the most likely the target if she's up front. You regardless. you take that magic defense. Thank you. Calamity. All right, so now the rows have a corrupt path, so they leave corruption. I can't remember what corruption does, but I know that I don't like it. It's a uh, it's just like a um, on tile effect that does damage. Yep. I think. Oh, it's just damage. Okay, I couldn't remember what it, what it, what the actual effect was of the on tile. Um, all right, we're gonna investigate everything. And get some stuff. Get some pie. Oh please. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so these are like random side stories that crop up where like you can take along one or two companions and they're some of my favorite stories in the game. So we're I always take the opportunity. I like I will be angry at you if you ever turn down the call to adventure. Oh yeah, no, I, I never will. It's always adventure. Sometimes time. Warstar would dig. A hobby is what it was. An alluring prospect for a naturally curious mind with rarely any real reward. I'm the leader. Santa, I found something. So have I. I had never done eat a pie that came from the ground, but who am I to turn down a pie? <laughs> <laughs> who am I to turn down an earth pie? Really? What'd you find? I found a digging fool. Hey, brewed <laughs> up any gloam flour? The cult clear healer is sending folks out for it. Oh, no. No gloam flour. Well, then... Want to see what I dug up? I'd be pleased if it was more than this pile of dirt. Is it more than dirt? It looks like a... What is this? A tablet? It's a stone tablet. It's got pictures on it. Yo, it's a Samsung. Careful. It might be cursed. No, it's a Huawei. Oh. Brush, brush. Hey, is that Santa showing interest in my diggings? <laughs> well, a little bit. Looks like a map, right? We know some of these landmarks. Why was Warstar just like randomly digging? Because that's the thing he does. You said it earlier. It's like a thing for a curious mind to do. All right. Time for digging. Time for digging. That's that's Warstar's other catchphrase. Kind of have to find this place if we can. It's been buried a long time. A little while longer won't hurt. We're definitely going to go find the place. Yeah, we got it. We got to find the place. We're the rough and tumbler cob knocklers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the rough around the darkness. So what we can probably do here is uh, whoever is the third will leave the other person to just go do um, labor things. I can't remember if Mystics get a bonus to labor, so I kind of want to leave Cobnock behind to make him do all the work. I'm cool with that. Gura. Okay, so then let's bring Gura and not Cobnock. 
I think because mystics can interfuse with objects, they like can do magic labor faster. I don't smell anything. Whatever dug this place must be dead. This uh, so music think, occasionally yeah, yeah, reminds me of uh, RuneScape. Sorry, what'd you say? I was just reading the dialogue. Oh, okay. You know, like a professional. Damn, I never claimed to be that. That's true. And uh, and you shouldn't. No. Jokes. I'm just I'm just punching you in the soft tissue. Yo, I'm just right. I'm just cobbing your pie hole. <laughs> I'm just covering your knock. I'm just knocking your pile. I'm just knocking your cobbler. All of them work. They all sound real and good. <laughs> Perhaps nothing at all. In fact, that is very likely. And yet, it doesn't feel likely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's them eating pie silently, by the way. That was the pie sound. I heard it. Yeah. You do kind of wonder, though, how many places like this echo beneath our feet? How many do we walk over in a day? Oh, dead end? Pie end. They've come to a round chamber deep beneath the earth. Their torchlight reveals uneven ground, the old marks of tools in the hard dirt. You bring a shovel? Something must be down here. Something is. Seems to be, <laughs> but for how long? Oh, sorry. Seems dead. Seems to be, but for how long? This well, is clearly will... a monster. This will guide us five minutes security measure, so let's dig up what he was guarding, or let's dismantle the thing first. Be methodical about it. You choose. I don't know. If we do the second one... <sighs> Sorry, if we do the second one, does it, like, forego a potential treasure? I think it, the fact that it says first means that we're still going to go for the treasure. See, I think that's... My, nice. my gamer brain, which is full of worms, by the way, is like... Yeah. This is a choice, either or. You don't get both, and if we do the second one, we're foregoing the cool treasure. You only get the treasure if you also have to risk fighting the monsters. Let's do it, then. Let's take an unnecessary risk. Un unnecessary risks are um, good. My, my brain is full of worms. Feels like some kind of shirt that I would buy on Topatico. I feel like that's like a... Oh, I think, I think I'm thinking of the, the Nedroid. I've got head problems shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Looks um, like I've, I've got, got brain, brain problems. problems. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. I feel like my brain has worms could fit in that kind of vibe. Okay, yeah. What are we doing here? They keep digging. They're digging. Digging. And digging. Even more monsters. That that was the tre the treasure well, was the monsters we fought along the way. That's 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 how you get the experience points. Ch -ch -ch -ch. All right, we got a spectacle, a sommelier, and a watchman. This is gonna be easy. I like I like the design of these monsters. All right, Santa is gonna be the yeah. I like the Morthogi a lot. It's one of my favorite storylines too. Um, I think it's the second campaign is where you like learn more about them. They're like Santa's gonna necrotic stab. meets meets uh, steampunk a little bit, which makes a lot of sense in a way. Like it makes sense to me that someone would try and bring back the dead via mechanical methods. So I, I like that a lot. Um, all right. So I'm going to try a through shot. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yo. Yeah. Oh, they have a lot of armor, though. That's okay. Oh, God. All right, we're good. No. Hey, look at you. All right, Santa will... Um, if you move out of the way, Santa will take the front line. Or I could take the front line against a spec... Oh, actually, why don't you take your shot first? Because then you can get your... Through, like back away, get your tell you, shot. Tell you what, and I'm Santa will move in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna silk step. All right, cool. Then Santa moves in, very brave because her friend is in danger, and the spectic dodges, which is not great for our hero. War star. Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? Doing the hidden thing is brilliant because then you get like a really good shot next turn. Yeah, because I'm, okay. so I'm gonna, gonna ignore armor. So I'm gonna damage the watchman then, rather than the the spectic, so that you can kill both of them next round. No. Oh, but he dodged, so it didn't really matter. We're back in Santa. Up. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, they got us surrounded. Oh, no. And so they split up, so we can't get the thing. No, I, so I, I totally where... can. I totally can. Watch All right. Watch this. Do you, do, you, do you need me to get out of the way? Nope. Whatcha? Oh. Well, I killed one oh. of them anyway. Cool. So now watch this. So Santa and Gura are rivals somehow. I don't know when that happened. I missed that. But watch this. Oh yeah, watch this. So when you're rivals with someone, 
uh, and they attack some a monster and do damage to it, your character, who's their rival, wants to hit that monster even harder, and they get a bonus uh, to attacking that monster. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, so all of the relationship things, the like lovers and rivals, have mechanical effects that are like just kind of a little fun, interesting bonus that aren't like game breaking, but they make it really fun to like think through how your characters would interact on the battlefield. And I think that's a really thoughtful touch. Well, what about friendship? What does that do? I think friendship doesn't do anything. I think wow. friendship is friendship is the ultimate non power. What are we saying about friendship game? That oh, it, that it doesn't War matter. So Warstar has got to cheese it. That's the um. That's his catchphrase. No, that's not game. Warstar. That's Worcestershire. <laughs> that was the dumbest joke I've laughed at the hardest. <laughs> All right, thundering challenge. Once per combat, as a protection, Santa frightens the enemy, forcing them to spend the next turn running away. Paladin. If Santa ends her turn by moving, she will automatically enter guardian. This is kind of nice because it lets you like m you have more control over how quickly you push the battle line. Yeah, I like that Wisdom. one. Santa gets a bonus to all campaign level tasks based on age. I've wisdom is fun, but like I like taking my time with things. Yeah. Upgrade untouchable. It no longer wears off after one turn. I think I'm gonna do paladin. Yeah, paladin I like sounds paladin. good. I like pa yeah. I like paladin. Tiger shard ring, melee or ranged or and ranged accuracy. So anyone can use this to hit more often. I'm a I'm a I'm a rolled need on this one. All right, do it. Just don't give it to Cobnock. I I, w I would never. Breaks are nice. Need a break. <laughs> Santa stoops by the near spring, refilling the canteens. Yeah, sorry, Santa. Ah, uh, come on. It wasn't so bad. Really? Sure. So, yeah, why do you suddenly look so limp? Hmm, well, just wondering what could be buried beneath three bone guards. Could be anything down there. Should we go back? Looks like we've learned nothing. Ooh, this is fun. Okay, so through shot you've already got. I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, I mean, it's still a good move. Just I don't think there's any reason. Like, I don't think you you oh, can't. You shouldn't. You know what? I I'm gonna get piercing shots. I think. Oh, I like killing crawling moss too, though. So crawling moss gives poison, um, which is uh, fun. Like just it, it the the poison accumulates and it does damage every turn. And crawling moss can be done as a quick action too. So like all your attacks do poison. Plus as a quick action you can like throw an AoE poison. But then piercing shots is really cool because it actually shreds armor, which means that the monster loses that armor for the rest of the combat. That's a your... that's like the boring choice, but I honestly think that uh that one's that one's good. I, I really right. like poison as well. And also I think if if poison works the same way as this in this as it does in most games, it would mean that it would forgo the armor because it's poisoned. It's not taking like physical damage. Yeah. But I don't know. So yeah, I, I went with the piercing, and piercing is fun because it lets you dogpile on whoever the piercer shreds the armor. Like everyone suddenly has an incentive to attack that person, and I think that's great. That is great. All right, so let's go help um, secure that site with everyone. Yeah, Warstar needs uh, more. Needs to heal up. Yeah. Site completed. Oh, I didn't say it. Got some heartwoods. Someone's gonna get bonus damage. I still think it should be Kobnok or Gura. Uh, I'm gonna I'm, look. Kobnok is slowly becoming a total badass. And I, I mean, bad donkey. Bad donkey. Oh, we have to watch a video before we part ways today. Okay. Let's do some scouting. Yeah, that's that's my catch. <laughs> Everything, nothing is real, nothing is genuine, everything is a catchphrase. Everything is pie. That's Gobnox's catchphrase. Bear Ellen Woods has been revealed. Let's, how damaged is four of eight health for Warstar? He'll just stay away from the battle lines, it'll be cool. Assaults. He is a ranged user, so he could probably do that. What was that guy's name we're supposed to keep an eye out for? Who was that guy's name that we were trying to keep out? Willick, I think. Willick. <laughs> From what I know of forest folk, they normally spread themselves out over the landscape. They find each other when they want to be found. Yo, these aren't exactly normal times, though. Hey, I like that you're leaning into the voice acting. I That's I good. actually lean literally leaned back from the bike, so I'm leaning away from the voice acting. <laughs> I uh, mean, 
whatever you gotta do to find the character. If maybe Cobnock is a goofball, maybe he leans back away from the mic. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's how you found him. Yeah. Maybe we're all trying to find ourselves. Here. Maybe we're all Cobnock. I'll go Maybe harder, it's time for okay? pie. Cool. Go harder, Cobnock. Harder, Cobnock. Harder. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. You'll get there. You'll get there. And his wife seemed concerned anyway. See, it works. The farther you get from the mic, the more the lines sound like Cobnock. This is um, I think <laughs> episode this is four. I'm just gonna be in the next room. <laughs> yeah, and it's just me playing alone. It was my plan all along. <laughs> Time for pie. Time for pie. <laughs> Of course she is. Old Willock seems distracted. Starts spending more and more time out in the ruins, watching the goats. Or so he says. I'd be concerned, too. Is that the story? Sometimes he wouldn't even come home at night. The lady seems at a loss. This relationship had some deep weeds in there. Ha ha ha. What a story. Pie panel. Pie panel. How, do you get, how do you get people to tell you these things? No idea. But if you know how to make him stop, I'm all ears. That was such Studied. a weird non secular story, for real. It really just was like, <laughs> what a story. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna find out. Like this not this story's not over, friend. That's true. That's fair. It's just, this is distant thunder. You know what? Distant thunder is like when the thunder is far away from the mic, which is like what you're doing with Cobnock. Distant so thunder is a great name for a band, also. Yeah, there we go. That's our fourth album. The fourth album. <laughs> Clouds grow like lichen over the sky. They pick their way through the building bones until a shout rings out from close by. That's you. Uh, come on. Wait, sorry, hold on. No, come on. That's it, you only get one. Hey, it was a distant shout, that was good. Up the hill, a man stands against a monument. His days guards between the sky. Oh, sorry, hold on. Come on. And the shadows of approaching Gorgons. Oh yeah, Gorgons. That's the monsters we're fighting. We're fighting Gorgons. Yeah. Um, get, get him around him quickly, or let's sneak in while he's got their attention. Up to you, friendo. Uh, what is what is this first choice? I don't even understand. Get around. Do we protect him. the guy? Do we protect the guy who's in danger, rushing into battle, or do we use him as bait so that we get to choose our positions while they swarm him? I want to be do-gooders. I'm always gonna want to be do-gooders. The Cobnacklers rushes towards the monument. The band of rough darkness. <laughs> I like the idea that um, Warstar, the Edgelord, is the only person who calls them that, and everyone else calls them the Cobnacklers. <laughs> yeah. They rush into battle just screaming, Time for pie! Time for pie! Time to nobble some cocks. <laughs> All right, so Santa will be the battle line. We're already protecting the guys, so we don't have to rush them. Um, and Warstar is already, yeah, Warstar is already back, which is good. Cool. All right, so hmm, I'm going to rush closest to the dough. Time for discus. Oh, hey, and this is cool. I'm next to um, an interfused object, so I'm going to get that bonus. Ooh. I'm going to do Guardian. Oh, shoot, I forgot that I can do Guardian even if I... Um, uh, finish my move. I could have moved right up. Oh well. That's Yo, good. check this one out. Double kill. Hey. Well, now, now Santa doesn't get to do nothing. No, that's not that's, true. That was, the, that was the best move you could have made for sure. Tell, tell you what. Uh, oh wait, no, never mind. Worst our, worst worst sister Shire cannot silk step. Sorry, yeah, yeah, silk can. step. Oh, yeah, so, he can. Oh, he can. Yeah. I, I meant to. I was gonna silk step Gura away so that Santa. Could, listen, it doesn't matter. Oh, hey, Willick uh, gets to do stuff. I'll move him over here so that they get a defense bonus. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Uh, uh, Santa got to do something. She got to take that attack. Ooh, look at that damage. Look at that damage. And now Santa gets to go and uh, clean up. So I'd already chosen to move next to that. So I'm just going to move her <laughs> through the corruption. And Warstar, can I hit um, him from here? No. There we go. Oh. Oh. Blocked. 
Boom, splinter blast. I don't think that's gonna do anything. I mean, you you go ahead and fight that thing. Oh, that was almost a kill, but it wasn't, friend. <laughs> oh yeah, um, for man. So I don't know how to. I don't. I actually don't know how turn order is chosen, but um, Warstar should probably go first uh, for like any monsters that have armor because he can shred it before everyone else attacks. Right. That makes sense. Yo, is Cobb not gonna level up? Are we gonna level up Cobb? No, never mind. What do you call a leveled up Cobb knock long? What? Cobb knock longer. Nice. 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 All right. I think that should go to Cobb knock. All right. Let's just like make him the most potent Cobb knock long there is. He did do some ridiculous just, damage. Just a Cobb knock throbbing with potency. <laughs> Cockthrow. The clouds begin to disperse, and Guru regards the man who is now rubbing his arms and staring at the ground. Willick? Do I... Oh, wait, no, you're him. Wait, uh, you're and you're her, so I'm going to uh, be quiet here. Do I know you? This is going to be... Whoa, hold on a second, then, buddy. Whoa. Your wife sends her regards. Uh, you can go she's, ahead. She's you can sad. Go ahead so what's the story? Watching the goats? <laughs> That's my new catchphrase. The goats do like it here. Ma? Ma. They climb the ruins. Those Ma. are some good... Some good <laughs> those are some good goats, yo. But that's not when the forest began to, to get more dangerous. I thought it might be time to finally use the storm well here. This? What is this? Surprise, you haven't heard of it. Uh, this thing's been on the family land forever. Aunt said it used... Said it was Kyorin. Uh, we had stories that it could, this was, this is going to sound crazy, but it could give you power. And my family are abyssal, abysmal storytellers, see, terrible imagination. So I thought maybe they're not just stories. Maybe I could, you know, protect the goats. <laughs> and, <laughs> and my wife, my, uh, Simsha, if I could get a hold of that power. Takes research, some old family recipes, and time, lots of time, to get a stormwell to give up its secrets. I didn't want to tell Sim Simshaw. Rather, she came up with a story of her own. Better than the story of a goat herd trying to wear a hat two sizes too big for him. It's a shame, though. I needed maybe one more good storm. The clouds looked promising today, and I thought I could finish the process before the monsters got here. No such luck. It was silly. Now that I've seen what fighting really is, I'm not cut out for it. Glad I never told Simsha. Yo, I think that's correct, sir. Now, uh, hold steady while I take this power. <laughs> so now you're not going to? Uh, count my goats? Yeah. And go home. Unless one of you wants it. <laughs> yo, yo. Us, the power-hungry adventurers? No. Oh, I, think, or, I think I'm going to take a bite of this pie. It's possible. Make the beast pay good next time. The sky is clearing now, but if you want to take me up on it, come back sometime. No, I want to take you up on it right now. Ask for Woolick, Bell, Simsha too. We'll f we'll feed you, put you up, give you other otherworldly powers, forest folk hospitality, you know. Meh. Excellent. Um, calamities. Uh, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna call it there. That's a good amount of progress. Hold on, can we tap the stormwell as one final? Act two. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't know that that was an option. Who do you want to get the power of the Stormwell? Who's gonna get? Who, what is the Stormwell? Do we know? We don't know. I can't remember if this is a thing. It might be a thing that I did, but it was. It used to be framed or structured differently in the storyline. I know they just did a patch like earlier this week. Um, so either I've done this before and it was fun and cool and I like it, um, but it is I think even better if you get to choose the character who it applies to because I think it happened. I think it randomly chose the character previously, oh. or it's a different thing. In which case, I don't know what it is. And either way, I want you to choose. Well, I mean, I'm very biased towards Cobnock. I think Cobnock would be a great choice. Cobnock is going to become uh, Throbnock. <laughs> Oh, did that not work? Mm. Because oh, the rest of the to... characters aren't doing anything, it wants them to do something. Hold on. Let's um uh get everyone else doing something useful while the time passes. Okay. Do 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 do. We look in Simshaw, welcome to Cobnock, and stuffed him full of bristleberry pie. Yes! Cobnock pie! 
The arc comes to a close and goat cheese while they waited for a storm to roll in. Right, I'm this cold. is more like it. This the, the power never came from the storm well, it came from the pie. Simsha, yeah. get your boots. You stay. <laughs> Willick tinkered with the top of the storm well. Careful. I like these just like singular panels that just like just an expression. I, yeah, genuinely, I think it's fun pacing. Rumble. <laughs> Wonderful. Good sign. Almost there. You call us when you're ready. <laughs> They're just Boom. leaving him. Burn. I like the open parentheses on that one. So what'd you give up? Uh, four? The whole heroing. You know, like your goats or your spouse, to name examples at random. Oh. Uh, sleeping in, leisurely breakfast, pie. Someday I'll get it back. <laughs> Someday I'll get back to the tavern where Polona cooks the, the eggs the way I like them. There's another cob knock out there in a different time who maybe got some goats and a husband. Inside maybe. you are two cob knocks. <laughs> <laughs> one likes pie and the other one likes husband. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was happy. I'll never know this his story, but this one's mine. Cobnock's musings are sharply interrupted. Crack. Willock. Sparkle face. Whoop. It's been a long flower to bloom, but it's pretty, quite pretty now, isn't it? The stormwell fills with light, or water, or both. It swills and spills over the sides. I should have asked this before, but am I going to have to fight something? Probably not. What happens now, then? Well, um, that wasn't in the stories. The ancient voices of the Tempest aren't telling you? Take a drink, transform head, reach in, transform arm, transform leg. Oh. Oh, you guess not. Who, who would do this? Um, this is a difficult I, I, choice. I, I, I mean, his name is Kavnok Long. I think he goes in head first. I'm just gonna say it. I just love the uh, the my headcanon of him having like a cob for a leg. <laughs> mm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cob leg. Uh, all right, we're gonna we gotta do the head. Cobnock draws his face close to the water. Tiny flashes within it hold his gaze. Suddenly, it's obvious what he's supposed to do. Gulp. Hmm. How did it taste? A little metallic. Not great, honestly. Uh, you both okay? He got. Cool lightning face. Green oh, I can't mystic. see what I can't see what you're seeing. No, I just look at a, the the little panel on the on the left. Uh, yeah, that's true. And it's just got a little light, lightning forehead going on. So you have you have transformations. Storm touched. Kobnok contains the coiled powers of a storm and storm gaze. Kobnok's eyes flash ominously. Passive static shock. Two true damage, which means I, I'm pretty sure true damage bypasses all defense. Incoming melee damage is a 30% chance to deal two true damage to the attacker. Cool. Wow. Passive. So if anyone tries to sneak in and hit you, they're going to get a face full of lightning. Nice. Let's let's finish securing the site, and then we'll, we will end there. We'll end there. All right. Ah. Three hardwoods. Today is a good day for pie. <laughs> Today is a good day for pie. That's extra funny to me. Since I found something, doesn't it seem like it should go to me? Yeah, you can have all the wood you want, Gura. Oh, I think Dodge should go to um Santa. She's frontline. She's dealing with all the... Do it up. Beginnings. And she does dodge. She do be coward. That's true. All right. Okay. So everyone smash that pie button. Um, really, really bash that uh, other pie button and then leave a pie for us in the comments. Definitely leave a pie. Yeah, uh, leave a pie and tell us about your favorite kind of comment. <laughs> I, I appreciate the several layers of irony here. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs> oh,